so welcome to this quick tutorial in today's video i will show you how to insert a table in a new outlook effortlessly whether you are organizing data creating a professional email or just enhancing the layout tables can make a big difference so let's dive in and make your email look more structured and professional so here is my new outlook first i will click on this new email or you can also use control n or control shift m keyboard shortcut to open the new email window so first i will maximize it to show you clearly so there are two ways to insert table first using outlook itself and second is you can copy the table from microsoft excel and paste over here so first i will show you from outlook it itself so you will see my cursor is blinking over here now i need to go to the insert tab and here in the include section you will see this table so when you click on this drop down you will see boxes which means when you select the first one it will show you one into one table and when i drag my mouse to the bottom right that will show me 10 into 10 that means it allow me to insert the table according to my requirement of rows and column so i simply select 5 into 3 when i click on this you will see five columns and three rows are simply inserted in the outlook now i will again show you a different thing this is an option which is insert table when i click on this it will ask me manually how many columns do you want to insert and how many rows do you want to insert i can type it manually say four in number of rows three simply hit ok now your table is also inserted over here so this is the easiest way to insert table using outlook itself now i will show you if i need to insert a table from excel file i have i have multiple excel files over here so i simply select any one of it so this is my excel table i simply select the area simply hit ctrl c from excel and again go to my email and simply paste over here so you will see my excel table is inserted in the email now i will show you if you need to add it or add some additional design to your table how you can do it you need to simply select your table once once you click on the table you will see a table tab automatically appears on your new outlook so when you click on this tab you will see multiple options over here see first is table table options when i click on this drop down it will show me four options headers row first column banded column and banded row first i will select with this header row so you will see your first row is automatically converted as a header row if you select for first column you will see this after header this column is automatically merged third is banded column it will turn into a, a specific design and similarly if you click on bend and row it will also change it to a specific design and you can also check out all four at a single time now the second option is delete it will show me delete table delete row or delete column for instance if i need to delete this middle row so i simply put my cursor in the middle row go to this delete click on delete row and see my middle row is deleted similarly if i need to delete this column i simply put my cursor over here or i can put my cursor over here all as well it will also consider as the same column click the drop down click delete column and see your middle column is removed third option is align that's a beautiful feature and it is an important feature as well you simply align your table according to these settings align top left top center top right in the center in the bottom center these are few options over here now you can also design your table style by simply selecting these it will change the color and format your table according to the selection you make now shading it is also an, a beautiful option it will color your cell see you can also check more colors over here according to your requirement you can change the color brightness color same you can use this option to change the colors now borders you can change the border the thickness of the line very easily 
using this option. You can also change the border color. You can change the border style as well. See like this or you can select the entire table and change the all borders. So your table is uh, changed to all borders. You can change the border color as well. Again, select the table border color. I need to change it to say red. Now the next option is merge. You can split or merge cells over here by this, these options. Next is very important. So these are the options which allow you to insert row and column. So first one is add a new row directly above the current row. Second is add a new row directly below the current row. Third is add a new column directly to the left of the current column. And the last one is insert a new column directly to the right of the current column. Current column means when you select a specific column or row by your cursor, that will be considered as current row or current column. So this way you can very easily insert and modify your table according to your requirement in Microsoft New Outlook. So if you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.